Hi guys, this is Frank from FastAbout.com. Today's topic is a dependency injection in Android. I remember that when I started with uh, dependency injection in Android, um, I didn't understand what dependency injection is. And it at that time, I just tried to integrate Docker in, in my project. So if you like me, um, and now you, you, you go to uh, developer.com, and go to uh, dependency injection, maybe you will try to integrate Hue, right? And because Hue is by, built based on uh, Docker and Docker was born by rebracing and help us deal with uh, manual dependency injection. So to understand everything about Hue, you need to understand about Docker. And to understand about Docker, you need, you need to understand about uh, the way we, we do dependency dependency injection in manually right so to do it to to help you understand about it i i built um maybe a, a demo project and it it, it just um contains some screens of a mobile shopping app a uh, home home screens and rock screen and crack screens and in this project i i will not build uh, or implement any views i just uh, show some things for, for fake data and I will start with um, do in dependency injection um, manually and then uh, you can see um, that we have a lot of issue and and we, we have a lot of um, uh, reputation code and so to do uh, to 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 face it we use Docker and I, I, I show you how to use Docker to replace um, manual dependency injection and and next we will see um, um how can we use Hue to re, um, to deal with dependency injection because the Hue will help us a lot and it it, it make unit head um, easier and finally you can understand everything about dependency injection in Android and you you, you know that uh, Hue is a, our best choice to um to, to work with dependency injection in Android. So it if it is the first time you visit our channel, please click on subscribe and bell icon to get more video from us.